Okay, let's hope that this functions and doesn't crash at some point. Um, but hey, we're here. We're streaming Elden Ring. It took a bit to get this set up, um, and I'm honestly surprised that it's working. Uh, my computer barely squeaks into the listed minimum requirements for Elden Ring because I haven't upgraded my PC in a while. So I'm, uh, I'm surprised it's working well enough that I thought streaming might be fine. Uh, we'll see. The, for obvious reasons, the stream may suddenly end if the game decides to take more processing power and, you know, my computer just can't do both. Um, but for now, we're here. I like how they're like, behold, I did it. And it's just, you, you hit the jump button. That, that, that's what you did. Anyway, uh... So yeah, I started up Elden Ring. Made my... Standard... Cool looking, uh... Blue haired guy that I always make. With traces of orange in there somewhere when I can. Um... Yeah, not being sure if I could stream is why I didn't start the stream until after I'd started the game. Because I, I wanted to see if the game would, you know, function. Uh, as it is, I'm still keeping a, a pretty close eye on Task Manager. So that way I know if... Uh, that way, if if it starts stalling, I can look over and look at my GPU and go, Oh yeah, sure, it wasn't good enough for this, was it? Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I have, I have a strong suspicion that at some point the stream will have to end because I don't have a... Uh... Gotta say, movement feels so much better in this than it does in normal Dark Souls games, and I'm pretty sure all they did was make me faster. Oh, hey. Hello. Okay. Don't know if I'm supposed to win this or not, but we're gonna try. Because even if you're not supposed to win, you usually can win. Oh. I got seen because I wasn't good enough. Is it good enough? Actually play the scene? Hello? Okay, we're somewhere new now, I guess. I don't know if that darkness was it not loading or if that was intentional. My computer's bad enough, I'm, I'm not sure. You know? Uh, unclear. Hello, hooved being horse? Oh, I get a horse. Cool. I like horses. Got horns. Don't worry, Torrent. Maybe? Fortune is on his side. If you say so. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. If you say so. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. No idea what the Golden Order is, but, you know. <sighs> Doesn't sound like something one should violate, but that's not gonna stop me.
gotta say i am i am actually really impressed by how good this game looks on my uh pretty lackluster uh computer at this point like at this point my computer is uh pretty lackluster Okay, we got Flask of Crimson Tears and Flask of Cerulean Tears. Guessing those refill our HP and MP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, or FP. Whatever. Increase the sacred flask number of uses, but I assume I need an NPC to talk with to make that happen because it's the blessing I chose. Take the plunge? Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a thing up there. Also, I have to say, it's good to see that some things don't change. In the whole intro area before I started streaming, there was just constant messages with tons of upvotes that were talking about, you know, secret passage here. And it's just good to see that the, the, the Souls community has not changed at all. I want a boy a tree. Can I not attack with my club? Light attack would be nice. Hello? Hello, why, is, why does the R1 button do nothing? Does the club not have a light attack in this game? Like, what's going on here? Do, 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 do. How do I? Okay, I guess there is no more. It looked it looked to me like I could scroll on that middle one, but it does not seem to actually be a scroll. Okay, so I know. Okay, I, I did a thing. And that changed. So that must be the club's ability that I just used. Not sure why that's on. L2. I'm gonna put the club in my left hand, see what that does. Okay, yeah, now I can do a light attack with it, and I cannot do a heavy attack or light attack with my right hand now so is r1 just not working or, R, or rb whatever because that's a little worrying if that button just uh isn't functioning here's an easy way to find out yeah if i click i can I can do a light attack. Okay, now I can do a light attack. What? Why couldn't I before? It's not an NPC I can kill. Um. Now here's the real question. Okay, so that's a that's a door. 
This is down here like an optional tutorial like area. We'll, we'll go down here. We'll we'll go we'll go find out what's down here. Fall damage is pretty generous because that didn't give us any fall damage. So. Okay, so here's a side of grace, apparently. Got our bonfire equivalent. What can I do here? Huh. Cool. Okay. I don't have much that uses FP, so I'll keep it mostly in HP for now. <laughs> Okay, so you just start with a storage chest in this one. I do not know any kind of spells, so you know. Can't do anything with that yet. Back attacks exist. Good to confirm. That gave me 14 of the soul equivalent, I think from the, I think it's runes in this game. And that one only gave me 11, so it looks like you do still get a boost for, uh, like how it's like guarding and I'm like, yeah, that's funny. Imagine being able to guard. Who needs it? Not sure if that's better than the base version. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, this is your basic tutorial area. Be wary of bow, huh? I see. Oh, there's really not much I can do about it. You know, I don't, I don't have anything ranged on me. Wonder if they, wonder if they actually made bows half decent in this game. Since usually, in most of the other Souls games, they're pretty much just for cheesing things. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Um, also... I hit multiplayer, what does that do? Huh. Cool. Okay, uh, so what I wanted to do was... Okay, that's, that's how you do it. Got it. That's the move set block with it and yeah, that's still that this 
this empower? Okay. Uh, I was gonna say this does empower basic attacks, but I just realized I don't. I haven't actually hit anything two-handed, so I don't know how much damage it does. Uh, Yeah, the archer is over to the left, but I'm, I'm, I, hey, I'm reading here. Do you mind? Okay, so the club isn't terrible for blocking. It's obviously not amazing. That's fall damage in this game. Is he dead or is he still alive and angry? He's still alive and angry. Okay, so it looks like falling takes stamina first i wonder if it takes health if you don't have enough stamina hmm. i saw acquire materials oh oh are there are there other plants that i can get things from this one perhaps it looks glowy Okay. Keep an eye out for those, I suppose. I just really like how fast you feel in this game. It's amazing how how different just being faster can feel. It can make things feel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it does increase my attack power. I was hoping that would count as a back attack, but I guess I wasn't quite behind it enough. And did they take the stealth from Sekiro? Please tell me they took the stealth from Sekiro. I would be very happy. I am just once again, I'm so glad to see that the Souls community has not changed. <laughs> has not changed at all. Hmm. Oh, I just realized I should have... So I, normally I would have, uh, like normally while streaming, I have the actual like Twitch website stream monitor up. Um, but I'm not doing that today because, uh, old RT for a charge attack. Interesting. Um, Okay, it's like a heavy attack, but longer. Cool. And yeah, when you stance break an enemy, you just get to murder them. Got it. Interesting. Okay, it doesn't look like it's destroyable. So, they made it so that way you don't have to walk back to bosses, I'm guessing is what those are for. Oh, 
so let me just go ahead and and refill before I go into what's probably a boss fight. That is good. Wow. I just, I, I know that was probably supposed to be easy because that was clearly telling you, like that was clearly to, to show you how to do that, but uh, that was so easy. That guard counter is so generous on timing, like compared to the usual parry. Like, why were there so many blood stains in that room? Okay, I pillaged remains and got uh, an emote, which is apparently loot you can just get from remains in this game. Didn't expect that. I feel, I, I shouldn't. I was, I was gonna say I have a dumb idea to find out my theory about fall damage is true by just, you know, falling. But that's probably a bad idea. Probably shouldn't do that. I don't know how to get up there, but it looks like there's more cave back there. So maybe I get there from elsewhere. Do you have anything else to say? No. Okay. I uh, already did that, so I'll just continue on, I suppose. Oh, the message that was in front of the door is gone. Faded into uh, someone else's world. Okay, we got a uh, new lost grace I still don't have a way to spend my runes so hmm. interesting these are like normal fog walls but I think it's Interesting that you can see through fog walls in this game. Okay. We can now summon other people. Do, 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 do. There's a nice lever here. Hello, please give me the option to push it. I don't know what I meant to do. I just want. Please, game. I'm, I'm, I'm asking nicely. Also, I did not mean to. Gotta love the Souls community. Uh. You know what? No, this one isn't as funny. Disparaged. Anyway, if it could give me the the thing for pulling the lever. Oh, I'm dumb. Let's not talk about it. That's for that's for pulling the lever when uh when the elevator isn't already there. Duh. 
You know what? You know what? That one's funnier. It gets an applaud. Ah, uh, that that uh, that one I'll just leave alone. It is time for Elden Ring. This is true. Ah, we got a Legend of Zelda style door. That's what I associate those vertical doors with. I associate them with Legend of Zelda. Cause I I didn't I haven't seen them in many other games. Anyway, so um This is a, I did not mean to press that button, but it's fine because there's a thing right here anyway. Okay, so I think the real question is, do I want to actually beat that initial boss to find out what you get for it? Because I'm sure you can. So that's the real question is, do I want to try? Ending map fragments along the road, huh? Oh, yes. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Of course you have. No shame in it. I'm without guidance. Without the strength of rule, you are fated. Luckily for you, however, me, Vare. Are you familiar with grace? You may also behold its that is the guidance. Hmm. It will lead you to an even. Yeah, it. yeah. Grace's guidance will reveal to castles the home of the decrepit. It's time to castle if you seek. It's time to castle if you seek the. Hey, you don't need to keep rubbing it in that I don't have a maiden, jeez. Like, no need to be like that, buddy. It's so pretty. I I am honestly amazed by how pretty this is, despite the fact that like. Uh, I'm running it like like I said I'm squeaking in bye bye birds Ooh, animals I will hunt you with club rawr, rawr. Bird slain. <laughs> Those look suspiciously like enemies, but I want to fight them. Let's go. So I confirmed that after... <laughs> after long enough... Instead of taking stamina, it takes health. I'm guessing your safe fall distance scales with stamina, and the cost probably goes down with dexterity. Like the cost, I like how much you're losing over time. Oh, hey. Huh. Okay. What does small golden effigy do? Okay, that's that's cool. Anyway, uh, let's go see if oh, I missed. Okay, so retrieving lost runes. Works about as expected for a Souls game. You know, works as expected for a Souls like. Yeah! Got some thin beast bones. If I had something other than a club, I imagine I would have a much easier time uh, 
doing that. Okay, so birds and beasts do drop useful things. How useful remains to be seen, but uh, on some level hunting them is worth it. But I don't even have a crafting menu yet, so... Um... Who knows? Who knows how useful it actually is? There's no telling. But okay, so... Right now, we're going to... Realize that I don't think I saved my character appearance, which is unfortunate. Um, because it means that if I do decide to see if I can beat that boss, I have to recreate him. I'll make sure to save him this time, though. And I remember all of the settings I made. Wretch, type A. Keepsake, golden seed, uh, detailed appearance, one with mature voice one. Yeah, I really should have saved that one to favorites. That was a mistake uh, to not. Um, I made myself really young. Not that young. More like... That. Uh... I don't think I changed form emphasis, did I? No, I definitely didn't. I remember that, that looked really bad. Uh, I did do that. Then I messed around with the note. I think that's the only major change I made was I made the nose slightly smaller. the draw protrude more. I thought it looked a little odd from the side. Then I think I made the eyes slightly bigger. Planted them slightly differently. Unfortunately, I didn't save my temporary colors. That's a bummer. If it had, this would have been much easier to redo. Okay, that's right about where I had the hair color. Then... Oops. Then I had hair 11. Then, uh, Luster I had most of the way down. Root Darkness I left the lawn, and White Hairs I adjusted all the way down. Eyebrows, the only thing I did here was change the color to, uh, be the same hue as that, but like, as actual hair, but way darker. did the same with this, but not as much. Oops, I forgot to actually 
actually. Okay. Also, I think my hair color was light, was slightly lighter. I'm gonna do that. Not by too much, but but a little bit. Like just a little bit lighter. Um. Yeah. I, that's the beard setting I went with. My lashes I didn't change. Eyes I made the iris color the same blue as the hair, but brighter. Um, I made the iris slightly bigger. Then left iris color. A hue of orange and then the white color I made actually wait I did this so it was still tinted slightly orange you couldn't see it uh, because of the hairstyle I chose but yeah under the hair uh, He's got something funky going on with his eyes. I don't know. I maybe this maybe my character is possessed. Who knows? Um, I just think it looks cool. Uh, and then tattoo. I went with this, and then color was this, but darker. I didn't have an eye patch. And then all I did with the body was be bigger. Change that up to 188, and I changed everything else up to 158. You know what, last time I went with standard, but you know what, we'll be buff. Okay, I saved it to favorites, so that way, if I have to do this again, it will be easy. And by if, I mean if I'm actually trying to beat uh, that thing, it's, it's a win. Like, I, there's not a doubt in my mind I'm losing this fight. <laughs> At least once. Okay, we're gonna skip the intro. Don't feel like watching it again. Okay, I don't believe there were any other items on the way. Do, 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 do. This time we'll win for sure. Okay, it just has a scream that will hurt you. That's... That's cheating, is what that is. Like, having a scream that just takes out more than half your health? That's cheating. I'm also trying to do this as a wretch, which honestly may not be the brightest idea, but it's not gonna stop me. Anyway, back to the title menu. At least now my attempt shouldn't take more than like, you know, I did not mean to hit continue. That was a mistake. Life is pain.
It was just mashing X to get to get through the menu faster. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Accidentally hit enter. Okay. One more time. Uh, detailed appearance. Load favorite. And just mash the the star button to skip that scene as soon as possible. Like the second it lets me skip that scene, we're we're done. We're out of here. Okay, this time we're going to die in what is probably a dumb way, but we're gonna try blocking and see if we can counter. Um, I have a strong suspicion that I just won't have the stats for that, that it'll just break my block, but we're gonna try in case it works, you know? Okay, so I can counter, but it's too mobile. But, and it does half my health through blocking, so. It didn't break my block like I was afraid of, but it, it's not feasible. Uh, to beat it like that. do I not get hit by the screen? That's the, that's the real question so far. Not getting hit by the swords, I'll be able to manage once I know what all the sword attacks are. That, that's not super hard. I don't know how I'm going to avoid getting stabbed <laughs> uh, by it. Uh, by an attack that just hits everything around it that I can't dodge out of. Trying to do this as a wretch may not be advisable. Particularly, like, I'm not, I should, it might be worth trying the other blessings to see if there's a, a cheese blessing in there. <laughs> Like the firebombs in the first game. You know what? We're, we're shortening tomorrow because I don't feel like typing that whole thing out every time. What are these other blessings? That sound, the boiled prawn sounds like the most likely cheese. I'll try it a few more times to get used to the fight anyway. But... The prawns definitely sound like the most likely cheese. You know what I mean? Like, that sounds, that definitely seems like the thing that I'm most likely to be able to cheese it by doing. Is by using those. Load times would be faster if I'd had the space to install it on my SSD, but 
I did not, so <laughs> here we are. Because my SSD isn't super big to begin with, and the uh, only game I keep installed on it is Final Fantasy XIV. Because it's the only game I play enough to, like, I, I save myself more time by keeping Final Fantasy XIV as the game installed, and that's just a true statement. Okay, so I'm not sure if wielding this two-handed is actually advisable, but... Well, you know, sometimes sometimes you're just bad at video games. That, that's all there is to say about that one. Um, sometimes video games are, are hard and you just die. Uh, I'm going to see how like strong the boiled prawns are, I think. Just because I want to know, like, if it gives me physical defense, are we talking, like, I can laugh at this boss? Physical defense? Like, how much physical defense, you know, are we talking here? Let's go find out. I'm not sure how I feel about starting with one less golden seed because I have a feeling that's a limited item because it increases the number of healing flasks you have and that's usually limited. Um, usually you, you can't find more of those. Um, they, there's not, or you can find more of them but there's not like an infinite amount of them. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not farmable, they're only you know, uh, predetermined from certain areas. They're not something an enemy can drop, unless it's a one-time enemy, like a boss or something. Okay, this time we're gonna we're gonna go ham. We're just gonna run in and jumping attack. We're just we're just going for it, you know. to actually I'm dumb. This time I'll actually remember to use the boiled prawns before the fight. <laughs> um starting with the the jumping attack definitely the right choice though. Like Absolutely the right choice to start with the jumping attack. Get you get you a head start on that damage. Um We'll see if the prawns actually lower the damage we're taking in any way that matters. I wonder if it will actually show up on our stats, how much it's giving us. Maybe. If it'll show up on our I'll I'll check my physical defense stats beforehand and after and see if it shows up I'm determined I refuse to g I mean I'll, I might give up eventually but not yet not yet You know, I might give up one day, but today is not that day. I also don't know how long the oil prawns will last. So we'll be exploring a couple of things here. Might as well also test if my damage buff 
shows up on my stats. Yeah, if I'm gonna be looking at my stats anyway. It'd be convenient if I could if those things did show up in my stats so I could see how effective they were. Okay, so let's look at Yeah, yeah. Uh so let's look at right armament one is 113 and our physical damage negation is zero. So uh should be pretty easy to see if it affects it or not. Uh, it does. It gives us 15. And... Okay. The damage buff isn't huge, but... It is noticeable. Okay, yeah, confirmed that while that, well, that's definitely a noticeable buff to my stats, this thing is higher than me enough that it does not matter. Either that or it's hitting me with other attributes other than just physical. Doesn't look like it is, but that doesn't mean it's not. Okay, when it does that attack, I, I figured out a safe time to hit it when it's doing that. So there's that. know I have one safe time to hit it that almost took me by surprise and hit me honestly pure luck I didn't get hit there you do the attack I know how to hit you daring please <laughs> I would really appreciate it <laughs> if you did like I'll help a friend out oh it it did not did not help me out but okay so the shrimp do not give enough physical damage uh, negation to be worth taking as as the blessing. Um, either that or there's something about the stat system I don't understand, but or both could be both, probably both. But regardless, um, I'm not gonna take the shrimp. I also have a feeling that the shrimp's probably an item you can get. Um, so while I continue to make my attempts at learning the boss, I'm going to keep taking the other blessings just to find out what exactly they do. I don't think that's what I want. Um, let's check the branches. See if they have any use, like, you know. They sound like they might be crafting items though. So I'm not super hopeful that they'll have a use uh, immediately. I just want to check and make sure. I'm trying to, as I'm testing this, go through the least useful items, because if I win, I don't want to have to do it again. Um, if I can't find the useful items, I'll just default back to the Golden Seed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uses FP to charm pierced enemy. Huh. What happens if I use that on a boss? Surely that doesn't work on bosses. Right? Like, surely the only thing that will happen if I try to use that on a boss is that the boss laughs at me and murders me. Like, I'll go confirm just to be safe, but I fully expect this to be a quick murder of me. You know, I fully expect this to just quickly kill me. Yeah, yeah, it did not do anything. Ow. Well. Okay, so those branches don't work on bosses as expected. I, like, I read that description, I was pretty sure that wasn't going to work, but you never know.
I should really, I'm going to hit load game because I have a feeling that all of these have just been piling up. I should probably delete them. Yeah, they sure have. <laughs> like it's just this stack of Mars. Huh, interesting. In my in my original I made the uh the tattoo a little bit brighter, but I don't care. I, I like the new one I made well enough, so. Okay, so that breaks the seal on someone called M statues, but I don't know what those are, so. I'm going to ignore that. It sounds kind of like a master key equivalent, but you can only use it once. Like, like it sounds like something that you use to sequence break. So we're going to see. So cracked pods hold. Uh, some kind of throwing weapons, apparently. So we're going to see if you start with cracked pods, do they start with throwing weapons in them? That'd be nice. That'd be great, actually. Like, being able to just dodge out of the way of its attacks and throw stuff at that boss, like, that would make that so much easier. Okay, the fact that it didn't automatically get put on my item bar suggests that I can't use it that way. Yeah, it's a it's a crafting thing. Which while useful is not in fact, that's so bad that I'm just going to uh, immediately, not even going to try the boss, because the Golden Seed is just better than that, probably. That definitely feels like an, an item that I can get elsewhere, you know, and anything farmable is worse than the Golden Seed, because there's no way the Golden Seed's going to be farmable, right? That kind of item has never been farmable in previous Souls likes, at least. So I'm imagining that it's going to continue to not be farmable. Uh, okay, so the last one I really need to check are the Fanged Imp Ashes. And I guess I'll check the, the max HP one just in case its max HP increase is truly ridiculous. Like... You know, usually things that increase your max HP at the start are like, here's an extra 30. Maybe this one is especially ridiculous and doubles my max HP. Who knows? Okay, uh... Used to summon two fanged M spirits. Okay. The item is grayed out though, and I I don't know why. I have to say. It's gonna, I feel like it's gonna be hard going back to old, to other souls likes after this. The movement in this just feels smooth. I, I don't know how else to describe it. The, like the moves in this just feel better.
Yeah, okay. I can't use it. Well, I guess I'll learn more about the boss then. Oop, ow. That attack is particularly nasty. I just want to know what my reward is for for managing because there's always a reward. Does it say on this what the cost is? Has an FP cost of 50 and I have enough FP. So I don't I don't know why it doesn't why it's not doing anything, but whatever. It's lack of doing anything is not my problem because I'm not going to have it anymore. You know? <laughs> uh, okay, let's check out that maximum HP increase just to see if it's, you know, bonkers or something. it is yeah that's everything else okay this max hp increase would have to be absolutely bonkers to be worth taking over a golden seed but we'll see Maybe it just will be absolutely bonkers, you know? No. Not absolutely bonkers. It's, it's not a bad increase, mind you. But it's just an increase of like 20. I'm guessing it might be a percentage. Wonder if I can find that out by looking at it. Uh, it doesn't tell me, but I have a suspicion it's percentage. Uh, regardless, back to having the golden seed on me every time I do this then, because Increasing the number of healing item uses is just more useful than any of that. Oh, something went wrong there. Accidentally hit space. Anyway, yeah, golden seed. Okay, so now we're just going to keep trying the boss until we succeed. Because I am determined. More determined than I should be, to be honest. The Fallen Leaves. Yeah, yeah, the Fallen Leaves tell a story, whatever, buddy. I don't care. Do, 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 do. Okay. That 
was a little too risky. Yeah, going for the second hit there is just not wise. That, what I did right there, very risky. Needlessly so. Oh, it's still attacking. Okay. Um, that didn't go great, but we will be fine. Um, like that definitely, that one could have gone better. Not, not gonna lie. Um, but we are slowly getting used to the attack patterns. I know how to hit it on one of its attacks. Um, I now know that the opening on that jumping attack is a feint, unless you're really fast. Uh, I think if I was fast enough there, I, I could have gotten the hit in and, and not gotten hit afterwards. I just didn't know in time that that was going to be an opening. So next time I could probably get that hit. Yep, let's go. We are, we are a little wretch here to smack down the enemy with our club. It's all we need. It's not, we're, we're getting more than a club eventually. I'm not playing this whole game as a wretch. That's not happening. Um, but for right now, that's all we need. Because this is an even stat run. Okay. We run back. Also, I like that running doesn't take stamina. slow to capitalize on that. No oh, thank you. No oh, thank you I said. I did totally almost walk off the edge there. baited into doing that big jump. I think that's probably my best bet for dealing consistent damage. Come on, jump at me. Look, I'm running away. I'm very far away, please jump. No, okay. That almost worked out until, you know, it noticeably didn't. So I noticed that both times that I charged it there, it's, it reared up and started doing that attack. So I wonder if the trigger for it is me being close. Like if that's the trigger for it, trying to use that attack. Because it doesn't seem to use that attack when I'm far away, which makes it harder to exploit. But knowing what causes the attack will make it easier to exploit, so it all works out. <laughs> kind of. Still wish it would just use that attack no matter what distance I was from it, but you know. Unfortunately, the AI is slightly smarter. I wish I could save all of this information. Not just, uh the the looks but like all of it the name like the whole the whole list name appearance all of it 
Like having the appearance saved is definitely a a big step up. Um, but having the rest of it saved too would be nice. Also, I just realized I definitely have my setting for specifically. I definitely have my uh, bit rate lower than it needs to be. That can that can bump up to three thousand. Uh, it's because my settings were still for uh, playing the video games with other people. Um. Yeah, that should improve stream quality a bit. Bumping that up to 3,000. Because I have plenty of bandwidth available at the moment, you know? I'm not, not doing anything else with it. Okay, let's go beat up some enemies. Really wish I could get some clothes. <laughs> You know, sometimes that happens and you, you get murdered. That's just how life is. Sometimes you get murdered. And sometimes you murder. Uh, that's just how life is when you're one of the tarnished. <laughs> So this is going great so far is the uh the overall the overall view on this. Going great. But I wanna win. And I want and I want to win without not being like without changing my decision about doing an even step build right from the beginning. So we're going to keep trying because I believe. I believe that we can do this. Bring attack, it feels really good. Ooh, I might use that a little bit late. I sure did. Yup. I used that that a little bit late. Um I I should have given up on going for the the initial jumping attack. 
after after that. Um. Yeah, we're uh we're, we we still got to make a a few more attempts. And by a few more, I mean we'll get it eventually probably. Like, at the end of the day, we will be the victorious ones. The amount of losses between now and then, honestly irrelevant. And I don't know why you keep asking how many times it's been. Uh, Got distracted uh looking at uh a friend chat where people are posting their Elden Ring characters, you know. Uh, okay, back to back to dying to this boss. Like Let's not think about how far into the game I could be by now if I was not trying to be this boss, because honestly I don't think that's an important detail. Uh, and thinking about it less will make it feel less important, so... That, that did not work out for me. Um, that was a poor decision, in fact. Uh, I, I think that could have been a good decision if I'd done a light attack. Doing that as a jumping attack was a mistake. <laughs> So I think my theory about why the shrimp damage absorption didn't matter much against this boss is that the uh, how to put this the way this boss functions on a fundamental level or the way the game functions on a fundamental level, I'm guessing is that damage absorption is a flat value. Um, and because damage absorption is a flat value, uh, as you can see, I start with like 400 health. This boss chunks me for almost half. So it's doing like 200 damage. Minusing 15 from that doesn't do much for you. <laughs> um... <laughs> You know, like, oh boy, it did 185 damage a hit. It's still three shots for me. You know? It, it's not enough of a difference to even make me survive one more hit. So I suspect that's how damage absorption works in this game. Um, I'll be able to find out for sure once I, you know, have equipment that I can actually put damage absorption on. Uh, 
almost made it through that without getting hit for that. So far I've got exactly one hit. One or one of its moves that I can do without getting that I can manage without getting hit. One move. <laughs> uh and it's the one that only triggers when you're close, which means that I have to risk getting hit by its other attacks just to even have a chance of triggering that one. So what I'm trying to say is it's not going great. Uh it's not it's not going great at the moment. But Uh, okay, yeah, so I do have to, I do have to occasionally delete them. Okay, one of the one of these times we're going to win. I don't know if it'll be this time, but we're going to win eventually. Like the foregone conclusion. Victory will come one day. Victory will come, mainly because we're not stomping until it does. If I am here for the rest of time, so be it. <laughs> Even if I never advance past this point in Elden Ring, I will be here until I win. Do, 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 do. Okay, I can get a hit in during that too. I'm too far away. I thought it was going to jump further. And it did the jump. Might as well increase my attack. What else am I going to do with my FP, you know? I may not even get a hit in while my attack is increased, but... Oh, I definitely thought it was going to take a break after that attack and it definitely did not um but getting further progress is being made we are making progress on beating this enemy which is all one can really expect Um, I will absolutely be screenshotting it if I do succeed, because I will be very happy about having succeeded. Um. 
um what what i do with that screenshot no idea but i'm definitely screenshotting it that's that's absolutely happening just a just a man in his club out to how to beat an enemy with like five hands or something I haven't been counting. A lot of hands, a lot of swords. It's at least four. It's at least three swords and a shield. I haven't actually been paying too close attention to how many there are. I've been paying more attention to where the the hitboxes are, you know what I mean? Um, that's the more important thing. Imagine a world where I dodged, though. <laughs> I actually suspect that... I, I, I have a sinking suspicion that all equipment probably gives you absorption to some degree. So I suspect that if I were to, like, not play a wretch, this probably wouldn't be all that hard. But we're not going to find out. <laughs> we're not even going to check if that information is correct. We won't find out until after we beat this boss. If normal equipment has absorption on it. Because we won't find out until we get far enough in the game. To have normal equipment. <laughs> as a wretch. <laughs> because I am needlessly stubborn. And I know that my being needlessly stubborn is making things harder for me than they need to be. That's the fun of it. You know? That's the fun. Okay. Bye Well, it does have many arms, it only has two swords. Like, that could have gone better, I feel. But, you know. I'm, I'm effectively trying to figure out when I can actually get away with attacking it, so... I'm gonna get hit a lot until I, uh... Have a decent enough list of times when I can attack it that... Getting rid of its health actually seems feasible. Because right now, the main problem is that, uh... I don't really have a lot of... A lot of space to make mistakes, right? And I don't have a lot of times that I know are safe to attack it. I've pretty much got three. 
right after the big jump attack, right after the scream, and right after the thing where it does a bunch of stabs right into the ground and then does a smaller jump attack at you. Right after those three attacks, I know I can get up to it, but all of those are really rare attacks. <laughs> and yeah. If triggering the jumping one was as easy as opening up enough distance, that'd be enough. But its AI is a little bit smarter than that, so... You know. It's, it's AI has other ways to approach and uses them. I gotta say, I really love the atmosphere. Okay, let's try this again. Uh oh. Oh yeah, hey, it's an attack I can actually hit it after. Hmm, going for that hit was, uh... Not wise. Okay. Come on, jump at me. Do it. You know you want to. I can feel your desire to jump at me from all the way over here. I said jump at me, not. Actually, you know what? That did not work, actually. Um. Okay, I've confirmed that on that attack, I can't roll away from it. And still have time to get up to the end, to it and hit it. I have to, uh... To take it out... Uh, immediately. Uh, there, there is not space for me to, uh... To roll up to it. Doesn't exist. Can't do it. Um, maybe if I rolled into that attack, there would be space for that. But rolling away, I don't have enough time to get back up to it and attack before it, uh, with the club anyway, um, <laughs> before it starts retaliating again. Which would mean that if that ever, you know, if that works after rolling away from it, that's luck because it means that it delayed attacking past when it could have attacked. But that's okay. We'll figure this out. We're gonna remove this enemy from existence. One way or another, it's not getting away. Do, 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 do. I feel like trying a counter again, even though I know it's kind of dumb, but... counter there at all. Uh, maybe the timing on countering is not as generous as I thought. Maybe I am just got lucky that first time I countered. The hard part is if I'm going to counter it, it has to be on the first hit. 
for a couple of reasons. One is because taking more hits definitely makes that not favorable. Like, even blocking, it still does massive damage every time. Um, because a club does just not block enough physical damage. Um, but also, uh, perhaps more importantly in this case, um, it's because of the way it moves around when it's attacking, its first hit is probably the only, uh, chance I really have. Fortunately, I don't really have an opportunity to practice what the timing is for countering. So... Like, I kinda just gotta... Gotta hit the button, you know? Hit the button and hope that's good enough. Do, 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 do. Okay, so no countering this time because it did the scream first. I uh, misread what attack it was doing, and so rolled early, and uh, then got hit for that decision. <laughs> As expected. When you roll early, you get hit. That's how the game works. There we Let's try this again. Well, okay. My attempt to block didn't go well because I accidentally hit R1. Um. <laughs> so, you know, my block stomped and I started doing an attack and then I got murdered. Uh. You know what, I'm just glad that the character creation process to the boss actually isn't that long. Um, like, that that's a nice feature. That's not, that's not true of all of these, you know? Like, in Demon Souls, that attempt is a, a bit of a walk. Uh, it's a bit of a hike to make that attempt every time. Okay, 
we try once more with feeling, this time for sure. This time for realsies, we're going to do it. There's no way that this could fail. We would never fail to succeed. We would always succeed first try. Without doubt. Uh-huh. Okay, um... We're going to actually succeed this time. Like, for sure, for realsies. Success practically guaranteed. It just phased through me to the other. I. Okay, I mean. I definitely thought that had a hitbox, and then. It, so I pressed R2, thinking that I was about to get it. And then it just. didn't hit me until after it had gone through. Which turned that R2 press into an attack. That then. You know, because I wasn't guarding anymore, that just murdered me. At least I think that's what happened. Um, the other possibility is that by getting behind me, it went around my guard. That is a distinct possibility and one that I can't discount. Because um, guards in Souls Likes are usually directional. They have been in all the previous Souls games. Like, you, if you can get around someone's... Whatever someone's guarding with, you can generally hit them. So the effectiveness of that varied from game to game. Because of hitbox shenanigans. Oops. I keep wanting, I keep wanting Y and X to be switched. I might, or Y and uh, A to be switched. I might switch them at some point if it if it'll let me. I think it probably will. Okay. Once more with feeling. Okay, successfully guarded. Okay, you can be knocked out of the counter animation. That is really good to know and means countering against that enemy is just not gonna work. <laughs> okay. We're abandoning counter attempts then. Um if you can be knocked out of counter animation, that means that almost every single attack it has that I can actually counter will just kill me while I'm in the counter animation. Because it just, it keep, it, it's an enemy that keeps swinging. That would, like, countering it would only be a good idea if my counter animation was faster than its next attack, and that's just not true. Um... Not to mention that the counter with the club is relatively short ranged. At least compared to that enemy's attacks. It definitely has the range advantage. Um, and that means that even if it doesn't interrupt the counter, there's a good chance I the counter just misses and then it stabs me. Uh so we're back to finding safe places to hit it. Countering's not gonna work. It's good to confirm though. We will succeed. 
Eventually. Oops. I mean, it worked. I didn't mean to fall there. But whatever. It's all good. So happy that running doesn't take stamina. Okay. I really need to actually beat beat this boss so that way I can wear something other than a long plot, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's right. A tree. I'm scary. Retreat from me. I meant to dodge roll into that attack, but I thought it was a little bit slower. Well, some things you learn the hard way by getting stabbed, I guess. <laughs> thought that attack was a little bit slower. As it turns out, it was not. Okay, once again, we try again. Well, now, now here's the interesting information. Will the game tell us it's been, yep, it's been 10 attempts. I had a feeling that it'd been a couple. But okay, we're, this time we're gonna succeed. So every try I learn more about how to remove the enemy from existence. So, every try gets us a little bit closer to success. Granted, we've tried more than 20 times at this point. I don't actually, I haven't counted. I just know that we've hit the 10 at least twice and I deleted some profiles before we hit 10 once. So we're somewhere in the high 20s. No idea the exact amount of attempts, but we're somewhere in that vicinity. Somewhere. But I'm going to keep trying. At least until I decide I need dinner. Um, when I decide I need dinner, I'll probably go eat dinner instead of continuing to try. But until then, we're going to keep trying. Um, and we'll continue trying tomorrow, um, although that stream will by necessity have to be earlier, uh, because I do still have raid tomorrow for Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, come on, do the, do the jump, but do a, do a jump. You want to do a jump. I, I can see that you want to do a jump. I can feel it. One. Jump at me. I, I know you want to. I missed the timing again. But I am certain that that timing is there. It exists. I just have to find it. That was probably too far away to do that safely, but I got away with it, so...
There it is. I knew that timing existed. Ooh. I forgot that that I forgot it had a second part to that one. But that was major progress. We hit it like four or five times outside of the initial uh three two attacks. So that's huge progress. Like if I learn how to dodge a few more attacks, I'll be able to just keep doing that until it dies. Like being able to hit it at the end of uh, that long string of attacks that it likes to do means that I now have a spot in one of its common attacks that I can hit it. You know, all, all the previous spots I found to hit it were on rare attacks. That's a common attack. Uh, it does that does that combo all the time. Uh, which means that I can now hit it consistently. And I suspect that 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 small, like the small jumping slash it does where it then backs up afterwards. I think I can hit it during that too in the same way by dodging into the slash and, you know, abusing iframes to to stay close to it. Um, because its next action will always be retreating, I can probably hit it there as it retreats and then dodge roll away myself to prevent it from following up. At least, that's what I suspect. Won't know for sure until after I've, you know, done it a few times, but I think so. Okay, let's go. Okay, come on, do... Yeah, that long string of attacks. If you like doing that attack. I would decide not to do the last two because I got too far away. Ooh, that, that attack, if I dodge into that, I'm pretty sure I can hit it after. But it requires that I properly read that, that, you know, that that's the attack going on. I do not want to be here. Yeah. I, uh... I got too close to the wall. I had nowhere to go. <laughs> um... Yeah. I, I, I needed to circle around to its other... to the other side of it sooner. But more information obtained. We are making great progress on being able to beat this enemy. Like another couple attempts and we will do it. Also, I'm curious, if I switch to type B, does it save, like, if I go to detailed appearance and I go to load. Okay, yeah, that just overrides. I was curious if it, like, <laughs> that's kind of funny, uh, but I was curious how that interacted on the system. Uh, now I know, so moving on. The fact that I can just switch between type A and type B bodies like that tells me that they probably have something like the, there's a decent chance they have something like that uh, thing in Dark Souls 2 that the curse that uh, swaps your gender. Uh, they probably have something like that in this game too. Really wish opening that door didn't take so long. Okay. This time for sure. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, buddy. Come on. What, what attack you got next? The the murder me attack. I, okay, I, I see. late on the dodge roll if you saw the animation for the dodge roll started but i didn't make it to the iframes before the sword hit me <laughs> it was like the first like frame or two of the dodge roll animation started you know my character started doing the the lean for the lean forward and the hunch over and then got hit uh Part of the problem is I haven't yet adjusted to uh, like where the iframes are and how many I have in the dodge roll. So like I don't know how generous the dodge roll in this game is yet. We go forth once more <laughs> to beat this boss. I I will find out what happens when its health bar is empty. Gosh darn it. You know, I will find out. Okay, uh, let's try that once again. I think it's really funny how often Twitch stats update if you're, if you're viewing them through the, through OBS. Because the answer is like once an hour sometimes. It's really random. Sometimes it'll update every five minutes, sometimes it just won't update for an hour. Kind of funny. The, the Twitch stats on uh, Doc shows things like how many people are watching and how long you've been streaming, stuff like that. and didn't do the, the remaining two slashes. I wish I could knew why it stopped. Ooh, that was too close. Huh. Okay. Also just realized I've been one-handing this this whole time. Missed out on some damage, but it's okay. One attack almost just removed me from the game. <laughs> like, it's really out here dealing enough damage with one attack to take me out. Ooh, 
what was that? It did a shield bash. I forgot it had one of those. It does that so, uh, so little. <laughs> I forgot it had that attack. And who can blame me? That's like the second time it did it. But overall, that attempted really well. We got it to, we got like a third of its health gone. So if we can just do that, but with, you know, a few less mistakes to last longer, you know, as so long as it doesn't have a phase change at half health or anything, we're, we're golden. Okay, one, uh, another five minutes, another attempt, am I right? I'm really starting to hate this door. Like, I'm starting to have some feelings about that door, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's in the way. too far away for me to follow up on that. Yeah, I shouldn't have dodged away. Uh, by dodging away, or, or rather, if I dodged away, I shouldn't have tried to go back in for the hit. That's the... The key thing there. Yeah, still getting a feel for when it's uh, okay to attack and when it's not. That's the. That's what we're still working on. Once once I've got that down, uh, you know, like the more I get that down, the closer we get to success. Have a nice stretch while I wait for this to load. How much time do you think I would have saved if this was on my uh, SSD instead of my hard drive? Or instead of my HDD hard drive. They're both hard drives. Whatever. Talking is hard. <laughs> I know what I meant. and I know the difference between them. Just, you know, talking is hard. Okay. Switch to our two-handed club again. Be angry. Was it kind of risky to have that be that kind of attack? Yeah, I sure did it anyway. Darn it. Oh, 
I definitely thought I was far enough away that wouldn't hit me. Um. Like, I definitely thought I was going to be outside of that hitbox, and I, uh, I certainly was not. I, like, I was certainly mistaken about being outside of that hitbox. But okay, uh, let's try that again. I'm so glad that I can load a pre like load a saved appearance. If I couldn't do that, I wouldn't be doing this right now. I would wait until I was more familiar with the game and come back and do it. Um because uh that would get really obnoxious. Okay. I'll get it. I'm not giving up. I am good enough at video games to do this eventually. It's really just a matter of how many attempts it takes. Darn it. Well, yeah. Skip all the scenes. It's fine. Doing great, even. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna try that once more with feeling. Um, also, because my Twitch stats just ha legitimately haven't updated in an hour, the fallen leaves. I'm going to, oops, tell a story. Uh, go directly to. Uh, Go to stream manager. That way I can actually properly see the stream information. You know, so that way if someone follows me or whatever, I can know. Uh. But it also gives me a time frame for like how long I've been streaming. Uh, other than having to look at an actual clock. Which is more thinking than I want to have to do while I'm streaming. I try very hard not to think while I'm streaming. It's quite relaxing. <laughs> you know, try to have zero thoughts if possible. Come on. 
Okay. That hit me from further away than I thought it would. That shield bash is, uh, longer range than you would think. So it does occur to me that shield bash is one of the few attacks that's only one attack. So if I notice it coming next time, I might try to counter it. Just because I think it'd be funny. It might still just end me. Um, but you know, it's one of the few attacks that this boss has where countering it is actually an option. This boss, this boss also has enough health that like, part of the reason I'm not like trying to force the counter is because this boss has enough health that I don't think it'll matter. You know what I mean? Like, could I counter it with a club? Yes. But even through a block at three to four shots me, depending on what attack I'm blocking. So like, even if I perfectly counter it off every one of those hits, uh, would that even deal enough damage? Like, what, would I even be able to deal enough damage for, from that for it to matter? You know, well, I, I haven't hit it with the counter, so I don't know exactly how much damage it'll do. But, uh... I have hit it with enough attacks to have a rough idea of how chunky its health bar is. You know? It takes, uh... I have hit with a counter before, so I know roughly how much of a damage multiplier it is over my normal damage. Okay. Decided not to do the other two attacks for that. I was too close for that first one. <sighs> okay, skip all the scenes. I don't care. I'm not going to lose to this thing. I'm going to find out what happens if you beat it. I refuse to lose this fight. I may have been trying it for like two hours at this point, but gosh darn it, I'm gonna win. As a wretch. Why am I doing this again? Um. Questions I ask myself often. Uh. But we're going for it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go well. We're still going to go for it. Honestly, that it's not going well is just more reason to go for it. Because I can be more happy when I succeed. The fallen leaves tell a story. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Sure they do. Okay, but this time for sure, though. Do, 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 do. It's always nice to see I'm not the only one who decided to start as a wretch.
you decided to stop? Okay. Well, let me just slowly walk to the other side of you. Okay, buddy. Could keep doing more attacks that I can actually hit you through. That'd be great. Ow. Hmm. I got uh I got I got stuck on on the thing that was behind me. Oops. Okay, trying again. I refuse to lose to this boss. All I have to do is successfully hit it approximately 50 times without getting hit twice. Like, it's not that hard. And, uh... Oh. That's officially, uh... Almost 40 attempts now. Delete all those new game files to make room for more. Okay, let's try that again. Oops. One further down than I wanted. Victory will be mine. Eventually. One day I'll find out how bad or good an even stat build is in Elden Ring. I don't think it'll be today though, I'll be honest. Like, uh -huh. Like, I'll be honest, looking at this, I think there's a decent chance it won't be until, uh, tomorrow. So I think I'll probably beat this boss today, because I'm stubborn. I think once I beat the boss, I'll probably want to go have dinner. Please go off the edge. Please tell me this thing can fall. That'd be hilarious. I'm sure it can't, but it'd be really funny if it could. Oh, I was a little bit too close. That's fine. That attempt didn't start out great anyway.
Okay. Once more with feeling. I will succeed. Mostly because I'm too stubborn to fail. Uh, rather, I'm too stubborn to only fail. You know. I failed 50 times here, but I will succeed at least once. Probably only once. Unless... Uh, unless whatever it gives is like absolutely amazing and or funny uh then i suspect that on subsequent playthroughs i will not care to succeed in this fight <laughs> just won't care That, uh, that one could have, could have gone better. Like that, that, that attempt didn't go great. I'll give it at least a few more attempts today, but I think at eight, I might decide to go have dinner and try again tomorrow. But worry not. I will be trying again early tomorrow. Like, you know, as soon as I have, as soon as I am up active and all that, as soon as I'm ready for the day, I will just start streaming this. I'm actually, I'm still super excited that my computer can actually handle streaming this. I didn't think I'd be able, it'd be able to. My graphic settings aren't even that low, so I'm not sure what's up with their minimum recommended settings. Or their minimum, uh, their minimum requirements. Game is running great, and I, I have, like, I have the minimum requirements. The minimum requirements are what my PC is on, uh, for, uh, the graphics card. I have above the requirements on the CPU, but the graphics card is at the minimum requirements, and this is doing just fine. Now, I'll grant that, you know, I probably haven't gotten to any of the things that are more graphics intensive yet, but, yeah, like, I expected this to be, you know, just barely running. Certainly not something that I could stream. Uh, but here we are. Yeah, I shouldn't greed. Greeting for the heavy attack there is got got me hit. I should stop that. Because while a heavy attack does do more damage, it's not worth potentially getting hit. You know, it's only like 30 more damage or something. So it's it's not worth risking getting hit over. Except maybe on the first one at the very beginning, but that's because like, oh no, I get hit and the attempt ends, I, I'll, that was the first hit. The only thing I'm really losing is the time it takes me to do all this. Honestly, this doesn't take very long. 
like don't get me wrong it, it definitely takes time but it's not a super long time Yeah, I'm going to beat this boss. It's going to be great. I refuse to let this boss win. I will be the victor. attack does 57 damage and a heavy attack does 81. The normal attack is plenty. There's no reason to risk getting hit. Oh, I wasn't close enough to capitalize. That's unfortunate. I misread what attack it was doing. And uh, by the time I corrected my idea of what it was doing, it was uh, too late. I got hit in the face. Far, far too late. Okay, let's go beat up the enemy once again. Try that one again. We're gonna do it. We're gonna beat him up. I will probably replay this game once I have a PS5. Um, just to see how pretty it is on PS5. But you know, who knows how long that'll be at this rate, you know? Will I even get a PS5 this year? Who can say, really? Who can say? Okay, let's go. faster than expected I have to remember to just immediately dodge roll away in case it's doing that attack because there's not enough time between when you can see that it's doing that attack and when it's already hit you in the face <laughs> you know there's there's not enough time there well that's probably reactable uh 
I am not fast enough to react to it. Now I've got hiccups. That's cool. Hopefully they go away quickly. Okay. Once more, with feeling, this time we win. Like this time for sure. This time for sure. Okay. I'm now two-handing my weapon. I'm ready to use Barbaric Roar. I've successfully angrily roared at the sky. That was close enough to capital. I really have to remember that when I'm close to it, I gotta immediately roll away. There's no time for delay on that one. Or you get hit by that attack. Not the direction I expected it to roll for some reason. I expected it to go backwards, but it always goes left, so I don't know why I expected it to go backwards. I think it's because other enemies have done similar attacks in other souls likes, so my brain went, going backwards is the next step of attacks that are like this, and uh, that enemy is like, no it's not. What are you talking about? That's not how this works. Okay. Beat up the enemy. <sighs> Gotta say, I really like the the sound design of this game so far it's very atmospheric it feels great second got something in my eye okay got it we're all good
that's that was actually really unlucky because normally before the screen it, it backs up before the scream which makes getting out of it easier but it was against a wall so it didn't so that was that was unlucky that's what that was um that being said i think that's all the attempts i'm going to make on that for today i'll be back tomorrow to actually beat it but right now i'm hungry and i want to go have dinner so thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time